24 junior golfers made their way to Isla for the second race to the Machri finals after the event, first staged in 2019, was cancelled last year, along with so much of the golfing calendar. Qualifying through events run by the Paul Laurie, Stephen Gallagher and Barry Douglas Foundations, the golfers enjoy a real five-star experience at the resort and quite simply one of the best courses in the country for both layout and condition. So after a welcome from head professional David Foley and some of the sponsors who couldn't make it, it was out for some practice on an ever-improving and magnificent course. Now with over 30 new immaculately revetted bunkers, to test the golfers. Saturday started in overcast conditions, with the golfers hitting the range where their individual bays had been laid out on the turf, one of the many nice details put on by the staff at the resort. They were joined by some local junior golfers to warm up under the watchful eye of both David Foley and Foundation coach Spencer Henderson, before heading to the six-hole wee course for a fun Texas scramble. Archie Finney had won the Stephen Gallagher Foundation trophy earlier in the season and here we see him with a nice tee shot at the second hole. Short and downhill but impressive nonetheless. The shot was almost matched by local golfer Jack Shaw. Now playing off a handicap of 5, there's every chance we'll be seeing Jack playing in the main event here in the near future. But for sheer enjoyment on the morning, no one beat Iona Kirkpatrick. While others were flicking a sand wedge from the tee, she chose her driver and just about held the back of the green. Another local convert to the game of golf? Let's hope so. After some prizes were handed out by the Foundation staff, some lunch was had in the hotel and the golfers headed out for the first round proper of this year's tournament. The wind was going to test the golfers to the max and it would be a case of who could limit their mistakes rather than any spectacular low scoring. In the girls competition, Ruby Watt was having to scramble to try and keep in touch with the leaders. A nice recovery third shot at the par 4 fourth here and fourth would be where she would finish at the end of days one and two. A nice putt for par on the tricky par three ninth, helping her along. Nairn's summer Elliot continues to improve, helped by an impressive use of the putter. This a great birdie on the fourth, helping her to recover after a shaky start, and she would finish round one tied for second at 7 over par. Alongside her was the reigning champion from two years ago, Grace Crawford. The golfer from North Berwick struggled with her game at times on day one. And even here on the ninth, where we see Grace with a nice tee shot into the wind. This was in fact her second attempt from the tee, after her first caught the wind and veered well off to the left. Out in front by five shots after day one was Freya Russell from Royal Troon. Highlighting the challenge that the golfers faced, she finished two over par despite having four birdies on her card. A nice chip at the last and a comfortable margin at the halfway point. So what about the boys? Well, runner-up here two years ago, Cormac Sharp was hoping to go one better. But the golfer from Blair Gowrie had almost played himself out of contention by the time this putt went in for par on the ninth and would be well back at the halfway stage. Jake Johnston was coping a little better, despite being knee-deep in the rough here at nine. A great recovery shot leading to a par and he would be in sixth spot at the end of day one. Playing into a strong breeze on the par 5 12th, it was not the scoring opportunity that it sometimes can be for the golfers. No one had told Oliver Mucker Giro an excellent birdie putt, a 1 over par 73 and 5th spot for him 
after 18 holes played. Jack Mann from Fort Rose and Rose Markey. Here on the fifth. This was him holing out nicely for his par at the long par four. And a wave to the camera, as always from Jack. He was fourth at the end of the day after a level par round. The uh, camera was struggling a bit along with the golfers when Ross Laird reached the 14th. And how about this for a member's bounce? Ross took full advantage by sinking the birdie putt and finishing the day tied second at two under par. Alongside him on that total was Alex Turlick, a great birdie here at six from the golfer from Muckup. But the leader by a shot after an impressive three under par round was Connor Graham from Blair Gowrie. Keeping his head to save par at the ninth with this long putt. He'd been enjoying a good season so far and was looking to continue. Another good up and down here at 12. We'd see Connor birdie the hole. And it was no surprise to see him post the lowest score of the day after what has been an excellent season for the 14 year old who was one of a handful of the golfers in the field who played here two years ago. So on to day two and conditions were very different. The sun was out and there was only a gentle breeze blowing and a real chance to go low was there for the field. Freya Russell though had bogeyed three and was again having to scramble at the fourth after her approach had come up short. She was determined to hang on to her lead though and sank this impressive par putt as she tried to keep her advantage over the rest of the golfers. Grace Crawford though had closed a couple of shots by the time they reached the 8th, she was now 3 behind, although that putt wouldn't drop for birdie and the 3 shot gap would remain. Summer Elliott had dropped 3 shots early on but got one back with her birdie here on 8 with another fine putt. The golfer from Nairn was well clear in 3rd spot but could she go on a run to challenge the 2 leaders? Well, Freya Russell was trying her very best to make sure that wouldn't happen. A tremendous tee shot here at the ninth, and that would lead to a birdie too. Her two playing partners could only manage par. There was to be a dramatic back nine fight back from Grace Crawford though. A birdie at the 11th was followed by another here at 12 before an eagle three at the 13th. Freya Russell would have to hope that the putts like this would be dropping rather than staying on the edge to help get her over the line for victory. Indeed, by the time the final group reached the last, Freya's lead was down to a single shot Here's another eagle attempt from Grace Crawford. Rolling up just short. Close but not in. And that meant that Freya Russell had a birdie putt to win the tournament. It has to be said, a bit of a misread there from Freya. And a wicked contour, taking the ball off to the right, and that would leave things very interesting for those gathered to watch the action. Summer Elliott would again hold a nice birdie putt though, on camera. And it goes to finish comfortably in third place. And we'll no doubt be seeing more of the golfer from Nairn in the near future. So... Could Grace Crawford hole out for a birdie and force Freya Russell to hold her par putt just to go to a playoff? 
in it went and a new course record a 5 under total for Grace Crawford over to you Freya Russell and what about that for a reply though a big smile from Grace as Freya Russell held her nerve impressively and back off up to the first we went Grace Crawford had missed the green short right leaving Freya to try and take advantage nicely into the middle of the green but the opportunity and after Grace had laid up short with her first putt Freya Russell again had the chance to win with this putt and a birdie not quite to be but Grace was still 7 or 8 feet away there was plenty to do for her par could she force a second playoff hole the rest of the field watching on and the putt not quite dropping this time and that meant that Freya Russell from Troon would be this year's race to the Macri champion for the girls time to catch up with the boys now and Conor Graham was looking to pick up where he left off this was him at the first early in the morning a nice approach setting up the first birdie opportunity of the day although the putt wouldn't drop coming down alongside second place Ross Laird only a shot behind as was Alex Churlick he'd missed the green but that chip would ensure that he would get his par although the golfer from Muckert's challenge would fade as the round progressed Ross Laird had given himself a lot of work to do to see his par in on the first one shot behind at this point he was now two shots behind and the golfer from Glen Bervey would need better luck than that if he was going to maintain his challenge on to the second and Conor Graham would go under par for his second round at the dog leg par 5 his second shot rolling onto the edge of the green just coming round onto the contour a long putt for Eagle rolling up nicely not dropping though but a tap in par for a birdie as he chased yet another tournament victory in 2021 well what about the rest of the field here's Amar Salim he didn't score nearly as well as he's capable of but what about this chipping in for an eagle on the last nicely played from the man based at St Andrews Dunbar's Callum Keneally would finish birdie birdie for a top 10 finish nicely in from the youngster and Archie Finney well he would have hoped for much better over the weekend here at the Machri but an erratic first round was too much to come back from tied fourth for the Royal Burgess golfer Pitlochry's Josh Dolzanski had had four birdies in an up and down day two and he would also finish tied for fourth alongside Archie Finney after also leaving himself too much to do to challenge the lead after his first round a nice approach here at eight would be converted for one of his four birdies nice stuff from the Barry Douglas Junior Masters champion for 2021 Jack Mann was three under par for his round when he reached the tough 13th one of the hardest holes on the course he missed the green but the golfer from Fort Rose and Rose Markey would get up and down to save his par and keep his score going at this point but a couple of bogeys in the closing holes would see him finish the tournament at one under par still a great score though always a wave to the camera and good enough for second place the winner though was Conor Graham from Blair Gowdy. 
He was two under for the day when he hit this tee shot at the par 3 ninth. Although surprisingly, he wouldn't convert that for a birdie. However, a nice run of three birdies in a row just after the turn kept him well clear of the chasing pack. It also meant that another course record was on the cards, as he went for his eagle here on 18. Pretty aggressive stuff. Well, as the other golfers watched on, as well as some of the interested locals, residents at the hotel and staff, he would have to settle for a birdie, but that would be good enough to set a new course record, matching Grace Crawford's total of five under in the girls' competition, and a very impressive tournament total of eight under par for Connor. Ross Laird would tidy up this year's action with a birdie to finish in third spot. Well played by the man from Glen Bervie, handshakes all round, and congratulations to both Freya Russell and Conor Graham for being this year's champions at the Race to the Machri finals. And a big thanks go to everyone at the Machri for once again hosting this spectacular end of season event. Golf manager Dean Muir has the course in first class condition for the golfers. And the big question from everyone is, can we come back again next year?